so I was a little reluctant to make this video I feel like it's probably important to say that it's May 17th um because I don't know when this is gonna go up and I might feel differently by the time I decide to post this or assign it to a painting video um just so I sort of remember this is going to be a video about I guess me sort of delving more into like my not the best or most healthiest cycle with art social media and like I guess my mental health um I was reluctant to make this video because I don't know I feel weird talking I don't really talk a lot but like I've mentioned in other things I've kind of tried to leave my non-existent comfort zone because I'm never actually super comfortable anyway but um To explain the cycle, I kind of feel like I need to explain my sense of self issue again, which I don't really understand myself, which makes sense. Um, I use astrology a lot, which is an issue that I had within like studying psychology, which is something else I'm in a weird place about. Um, there's another, that's something else I have in common with the runaway gem who I referenced for the Alexis Thania video where it's like, I don't ever really know how I feel. Like, I'm sure I might be feeling something, but I don't ever know how to identify it. So it makes it very hard for me to do things that I feel like with other people would be very simple. And she likes astrology too. I haven't actually really watched her videos, but I've noticed that about her as well. And I use astrology as well because it really helps me with my sense of self. And I know a lot of people dismiss dismiss astrology as a pseudoscience which is really weird to me and I guess it kind of goes to like my own belief system um but I, I really trust astrology because in my mind I'm like the stars were here before people were so you know like I, I don't know it's really bizarre that people don't trust astrology like if people I don't know <laughs> like I said I guess it goes to my belief system I'm kind of like people make the universe what it is and the universe makes people who they are you know even if you are into like extraterrestrial theories you know like whether the stars and like the moon and stuff were, were placed here or like you know it's just like everything is connected you know and I feel like the earth is a major focal I'm sort of going all over the place um but like I've referenced having Mars in 12th house, which is the house of Pisces, and having um, Neptune in 1st house as well. So it's not just like me feeling that like, but it, it really helps me. And like whenever I get like foggy within myself, I research my astrology or like natal chart. And um, it's just, it, I've mentioned it on a, I don't remember what, I think it was Reddit, and I've also, like, other astrology, I mean, psychology students have interest in astrology and, like, personality profiles and type of things like that, but it just, it was a reason I was discredited for, it just sucked. But with me, I guess, because I did want to do a mental health series, because mental health is, like, something that I face every day, I don't know how to describe it, how you would word it in a way that's not, like, gross or weird, I don't know. Um, but I, I don't ever, I've never felt, I've never felt that the internet is a safe space and I'm being like very cautious not to think of it as that because I know it's not that, you know, I know I'm opening myself to like a shit ton of criticism and it's like kind of triggering me all the time, honestly. But I, I'm I'm coping, uh, non maladaptively. I think so. 
the issue that I sort of have with the internet and like sort of like my personality. I also have moon and first house. That's another thing. Um, so it's like I do have feelings. Like they are very much present. But I also have moon and Capricorn. So having moon in first house and also having a Capricorn ascendant, I feel like it. I'm I'm actually moon dominant. The moon is my dominant planet. Saturn is my dominant planet. My dominant astrology signs are Aquarius, Capricorn, and Taurus, but they're not, like, other people's astrology, it's, like, a very steep, like, oh, this is drastic, drastic this, drastic that. No, my dominant three signs are actually very even, almost, so it's almost, like, like, 5% of difference if you go on, like, astrology.com and you know how to, the right charts to look at, <laughs> you kind of get what I mean. Um, but a lot of the videos that a lot of the videos that I put up that I thought were like really good or like really important to me haven't been like received the way I wanted them to and I know that like I'm not I'm still like a small YouTuber or whatever and I don't I don't think my expectations are high but at the same time it's a little um hard to put out something that you think is like really I don't know, like, really important and, like, really close to you all the time, constantly. Um, I, I think I'm a sincere person, but it's, like, every time I do one of these videos, you know, I, or, like, one of these voiceovers, mostly voiceovers, not, like, just, like, the videos, but there is some anxiety with that. I get, like, really upset. And, like, I, I've learned a lot about myself via those speed paints, or, like, time-lapse paintings, whatever whatever you want to call them, um, like, I noticed ticks about myself, like, how much I pick at my face, um, I, I, like I said, I know I have generalized anxiety and, like, panic disorder, but it's, like, I'm really seeing it, like, outside of myself, and, like, when I'm in my room, which I'm in my room for hours anyway, but, like, to know that this is what I do, like, when I'm painting, I'm also picking at my face, or, like, if I'm not listening to music, I can just, like, spiral all over the place, and, get like low-key like lost in myself because I'm just like I don't know it's just I don't know it's I don't know and I don't want it to sound dark or bad but that's how it is for me and I just I don't know like am I doing the right thing am I I don't know Ugh. I'm trying to figure where I was going with this um other than questioning my existence um, but it's like, I, I've tried and I've continually tried to do all the things that I think are right, um, and they haven't particularly worked, so then I started trying to do stuff that other people suggested me to do, and in a way, the YouTube channel is one of them, but at the same time, it wasn't, and I just, I don't know, like, I, I'm, I've been caught up in this cycle of, like, I wanted to describe it, but I think I, I lost my focus. Like, I get up, I get caught up in this cycle where it's like, I want to create selfishly, um, but then it's like backfires because like in the process of my selfish creation, you know, I think I'm simultaneously like hurting myself, which I tried to explain to a therapist, I don't know, like, I, sometimes I think I should go back to therapy, but at the same time, it's like, I don't, I don't think that's going to help. And it's not me being pessimistic, it's me being realistic, because I know that I'm, like, a difficult person, in a way, or, like, in all ways, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, but, ugh, 